Hallelujah. But I want to bring this message to us. As we cross over, as we move 2024, as we wake up tomorrow morning, it's 2024. To say, just keep believing. Praise the Lord. Just, just, just keep believing. The reason why I sang the song that says, I know there's two visions that says, and there's one that says, certain things are done for those that believe. Because we need to get to a point whereby at some point, at some point, I was talking to a few people who were talking about, about the issue of praise and worship. You know, and, and, and bringing the understanding of certain things that we normally praise Uncle Uncle because of the things that he has done for us. We, we look at our cars, we look at our house, we look at the finances that we have, we look at a lot of things that we have and we are able to say, Lord, we praise you because I have these things. But, but then when it comes to worship, worship changes everything that you have. But worship comes back and says, even if I don't have it, but you are God. Even if I have not achieved it, you are one of them. They might have said to me that you will not get healed anymore. It's okay, but God is still God. I'm moving for what? I'm moving, I'm moving for what to a certain thing. I don't see the light as you always say at the end of the tunnel, but I still believe in you. I still trust in you. Praise the Lord. Let's read the Bible. Let's, let's go to the word of God. The book of John chapter 7 verse 37. But I want, I'm, I'm going to read 37 but I'm looking, my, I'm, I'm at, I'm going to dwell more on, 20, on 38. It says, on the last day, on the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said into a, in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. The one who does not have the spirit in them. I'll explain that. The eight says, Whoever believes in me, that is where I am. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living waters will flow within them. Whoever believes in me. You see, you see, you see, the problem that we have, we, we want to believe on the things he's doing and the things he has done, but not to him. But the, the problem that we have, we're always looking at God to go to no siomkola because uzo sense loktile. We we believe you because 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 you, you, you are doing this. But but when Christ begins to speak to, 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 to these people, yes, he's saying something that whoever believes in me, and Mazalwa, let me say this. If you read the Bible correctly and, 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 and you listen to it when you read it, I don't know if I'm saying it the right way, you would not find the Bible all the time says everyone believes. But it always brings that whoever believes, whoever. There's, 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 always, there's always something in the Bible. It's, it's a matter of decision. You must, you must make a decision. You have, you have to decide. Praise the Lord. You, you have to decide what he, I'm going to believe in God. Because he says, whoever believes in me, as the scripture said, as the scripture said, the rivers of living waters will flow in them. And it becomes a question, what do you mean, the rivers of living waters? And when you realize, you understand that the, when, when Jesus was speaking to them, he was talking more of the Holy Spirit because at that time they have not yet received the Holy Spirit. 
Remember the Bible when it speaks of the Holy Spirit. He says the one that comes out of the mouth of God. The one who will lead you into all the truth. So that means the one that comes out of the mouth of God, the one Jesus has spoken about, he said, the Bible says, that the rivers of living water, in other words, the Holy Spirit in you will forever be in you. Then when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you'll never be thirsty anymore. Because the Holy Spirit will teach you, the Holy Spirit will lead you into things. Praise the Lord. The, 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 the issue of, 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 of believing God despite and inspired, it begins to start from there because the Holy Spirit always charges you. Oh, this is cause, Ngulungulu. Oh, my God, I'm going to go to cause. And I know sometimes it's difficult. I'm talking to a friend of mine who was telling me that he recently got retrained. And says, I've done everything, everything. I've, I've, I've done anything wrong. And, and, and God knows. You know, have you ever heard that? And God knows I need this job. God knows I need this thing. But then God allows it to happen in my life. How do I move forward? How, how do I continue? I'm just here to say to you, keep believing in God. Praise the Lord. Just because of you believed God and, and things did not go according to your plan. Just because of you believed was in your seat. And, and, and they never came to pass. You must understand. And this is the problem that we have most of the time. We always think oh, to whenever that we ask Unkulu, Unkulu, he is bound to give it to us. We always have the, the idea which Uncle Uncle, whenever you say Funa something, he must give it to you. And the problem is this it doesn't actually work that way. Praise the Lord. Because there are things, there are things, and, and, and I think I once asked this question. Uguti. Certain things that we want in our lives, have you ever really sat down and asked yourself a question, why do I need these things? Because many a times than one, and also what I've discovered at the same time is that certain things we want them because of I saw so and so having them. There are things that we want not because of Sias Ding, but Spunuk Shaina Guzuti, Nanan Funa Bangborn. It has nothing to do with Nkulungul, but Mfuna Nan Bangborn. And when God is not coming through for you because of how you want things to be done, then it becomes a problem. Now, that gets to a point, Guzuti, we need to get to a place, Guzuti. How? So what, what is it that we want? What, what is the purpose? What is the reason of the things that we want? Uncle, God, God, the Bible when you read it says, it says, if the devil can give so much to his children, what more about you? Does that mean that God does not want to give you things? He wants to give you things. But there are things that Uncle Uncle knows once you have them. Geoba and King. He, he knows. There's a certain point. There's, there's, there's a certain point you need to grow into. To be able to handle certain things. I pose the question. Can you really give your, your son a G-Wagon to drive around? driver. Can you give your child your car and say, no, here's my pin. Go do as you please. Why can't you give your child a car to drive it? Because the reason you don't give them the car or certain things that they want, for instance, uh, there are no young people here or there are some of them here. How many times have your kids asked you for an Xbox and you're like, no, not now. You can afford, but not now. The reason why not now is because of goodness in those begging. Look, you know, uh, when you finish your matric, I'll buy you. Isn't it true? 
Or after you've done one, two, three, four, five, you will get what you want. Isn't it true? Then why is it different from us to understanding that Uncle Uncle sometimes works that way in our lives? He understands that according to your desires, according to, to your needs, according to things that you want, he understands that you want this thing. But the timing is not perfect. The timing is not right. You want to get married. But don't go to my penalty. Yay! Life is a wall. Huh? I, I, I have to put things in space, in place first. Before this can happen. So certain things don't go to my because he does not want to give it to us, but because of the timing is not right. But in the process when God has not given you that which you want, does that mean that you stop doing everything? No, we don't stop, but we keep believing. We keep believing. We keep, we keep believing no matter the things happening in the light. But see, Maybe you believe God for promotion, but it never came through. Do we stop believing God? No, we don't. We keep believing. Yeah, I still I still believe that you will give it to me at the right time. When you read the Bible, the Bible says, many are the plans in a man's heart, but the one that prevails is says, And many are times, must figure to that scripture says, we, 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 we act as though now let I apply in my life. But when the Bible says many, you know, you know, you know, Bengus are somebody in the I I wonder if 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 God was staying around Lime Sabin and we all knew his address. The question is how many of us will be on ch at church on Sunday? We will be queuing. In his gate. Because there are things that we want. A story that, 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 we, that was created. They said there were guys, there were people. You know people, we always have, we have a lot of things that we want from Uncle Uncle. And, 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 and they knew the address where Uncle Uncle was. So everybody else was carrying the, the bucket of their needs. Others were just, you know, this huge bath. You know, they're carrying them. So niggas on. But, but what happened is, on their way there, as, as they walk, then you realize, oh, no, man. It's, what I'm carrying compared to what this guy is carrying is nothing. So people started judging themselves in that space. So no, what I'm carrying is too small. This guy has a bigger one. So, I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to turn around. Because one of the things when we were talking about that was if you were, like I said, if you were to sit down, introspect, look at yourself, why do I need them? You'd realize certain things don't even bring glory to God. Certain things we want them just to benefit ourselves. Certain things we want them because of we want to oppress others. Certain things we want them because we saw so and so heavy. We will ask, ask, Mara, Mara, how can they have it? As though they don't deserve it. But our God is a merciful God. He blesses whoever he wants to bless. They have this thing that I love so much. But to Zimu Hambangere. But to Zimu Hambangere. It does not mean if it's not happening now, it will never happen. 
We thank God for, for, for those answered prayers. We thank God for those that go back and they look at their, 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 their papers and say, Lord, I thank you that I have achieved. I thank you that you came through for me. I thank you for healing my mother. I thank you for healing me. I thank you for this. We, we thank God for that. And we also want to come to those that have not received them and say, no, it's not time to give up. Let's continue. Let's keep believing God in the midst of that. Praise the Lord. There are a lot of things that when you look into them and, 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 and they have not yet happened, it becomes a problem. I, I know when I got here, one, one of the things that I believed God for, I haven't told my wife. It's Antoine, I don't worry. 2023, ah, we're buying a house. A house we are buying. Ne? We're buying a house. And then for some reason, you know, faith, ne? you want to push yourself. Start going to the internet, looking at the houses. Ne? As God. And then the houses that you're looking at, you start seeing them like 23,000, 28,000 a month. You start looking at just like, I am a ah, maybe I'm okay where I am. <sighs> And maybe right now, God, Allah. Does that mean that I don't, I, don't, I don't believe God anymore? I still believe God. Praise the Lord. Because he, he's a God who knows what we want. Praise the Lord. You might have started a business that is not doing well. Does it mean at the end? No. Goodness in you, there are things, there are things, Bazaar, that we have to understand. There are things that we need to do sometimes. There are things, certain things, they're not, they're not happening because, 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 hey, oh, baby, Jake Matala, you, you, you don't give. Everything you have, your hand is always like this. I told you a story that sometimes Uncle Uncle sends people your way for a reason. And Uncle Uncle knows what you have in you at that particular moment. He sends the right person to you. You still remember? You've got 20 bucks in your pocket and somebody comes like, my brother, I just need 20 bucks to buy something to eat. You start going like, my brother, hey, nothing. Yo, yo, yo. I've got, I've got, I've got nothing. And sometimes you don't even know what you're going to do with that 20 bucks. Because certain things when we do, when some prayers when we make, when you give me, I'm going to give. And it begins to open those doors for you. I'm going to give. So that you can give. I, I learned something from, from a friend of mine. It is difficult to solve, but I've learned it from him. So he says to me, every time when he's got something, he wants to buy something. For instance, you want to buy um, a little thing. I just want to buy a bread for that, for that matter. And what I'm having in my pocket, it's not enough for bread. He says, I give it away. I'm like, why? He's like, no, because of I yearn what I wanted to do. So I'm going to give it away to somebody else because I know somebody else will be able to do something with it. Maybe we need to look into it. How is my giving? How is my prayer life? How, how, how am I doing? This life, like I said, certain things they need you to grow in them. Praise the Lord. I just want you to understand something. The Bible says, All things work together for good. Remember, now it's beginning to choose again for those who. Amen. And the Bible also says, silver and gold belongs to Kunkulunkul. 
Why are we not having these things? Then I begin to say to some people, look at where you are. I don't know, I don't know if you've met people. Uh, I've met people, I don't know if you've met a few people that have been saved for the past 30 years. But spiritually, they are still young. I don't know how many of you have met them. You, you, can, even, you, can, even, you can even check when you have the conversation with them. Because there are things that sometimes we choose not to grow into. But we want to put more. There are things that you just have to grow into. And understand that for you to grow in the spiritual thing, it's your choice. You must make a decision. Praise the Lord. Because all things work together for good. But the things that we don't have is because of when God looks at us, he realizes that you're not ready for it. A friend of mine said something. You know, I mean, I dream a lot and I talk a lot with people. I'm like, so my friend, I think Lord was around 100 and something million by then. And I said to him, if you win Lord, what would you do? He's like, my friend, I'm done with church. I'm like, what? Like, no, I'm done with church. Now I'm going to celebrate my life. I'm going to enjoy life. Then you sit and realize, good. And like a matter, sometimes we come to church because like, we've got nothing to do. We want isintos gankulunkulu, but as tiunkulunkulu. A lot of us came to church because we are going through some things. That is why today you can go to any church. Some people came to church broken and, and, and hurt, you know. But after they got healed, ah, I'm fine. They are gone. Praise the Lord. Which is not wrong, by the way. Because you must understand that when people come to church, they come for different reasons. But the problem we have is that when people start to come to church because they heard Utunkulunkulu, no, he's going to give you a car. That's why they come to church. You know? You, you know the story. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm closing now. Back in the days, Mabushel in Tombazan, especially a Christian, Umzalwan, they were taught our sisters back in the day, no, when the brother start to shell you, you must say to him, come to church. So they came to church with the hope you would die, Nzoba right. And they get to church, Ababa be right, and it's like, no, this is not working. And they cheer part. Some of them are not even invited to be, but they said, no, I. I know when I go to Bazalwan, I'm going to be okay. Uze Bazalwan, but did not come to God. Praise the Lord. But I want to talk to us about this thing as I close. I want you to know that it will be well with your family. Praise the Lord. It will be well with your health. It will be well with your career. And all will be well with your finances. Praise the Lord. You need to get ready for the promises of God. You see, one thing about God, I am watching over my word that I may perfect it. Praise the Lord. Or I'm watching over my word that I may perfect it. Like the rain comes down on earth. And what is the earth? So is my word. My word will not come out and go back the same. But what makes the word of God go back the same is because of the ground that it's coming to, it's not ready to receive. Praise the Lord. God has a plan about you. But you also have a plan about yourself. 
That is why this thing, it's just echoing in my spirit to say, maybe as the year ends, as we are going to celebrate, as we are going to enjoy, maybe we need to look into our lives. Are my goals, are my plans aligned with your plans? Praise the Lord. So that whenever things don't happen the way you want them to, you will always look back and say, it has not yet happened, but I still believe in you. They've said too many things in my life, but then I know these things will happen. Praise the Lord. And I want to say this to you. Second Timothy chapter 1, 6 to 7 says, Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying of the hands. But verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. I want to encourage you with these words, which is verse 7. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but has given you the spirit of power. Praise the Lord. Of love and sound mind. So that you keep believing. Praise the Lord. Uncle, uncle, wait, he never changes. The problem we have is that we change because of we have not received that we thought we will receive. But I want you as you go through the next year of your journey, never doubt God. Even when the devil begins to whisper in your ear, begin to tell him that, I know that my Redeemer lives. It might not have happened now, but I know it will come to pass. All I just have to do is just to believe. He's a faithful God. The Bible says he's not a man to lie, nor son of man to confess. He is a faithful God. Just want to encourage us today. That don't look at 2023 with regret. But look at it and say, Lord, thank you for 2023. The Bible says we should thank God in all things. It was not saying only the good things, but all things. That is why it says all things work together for God. Let's stand on our feet. I want you to go home with this in your mind. Maybe it didn't work out for you. But I want you to have this in your mind, Uti, and train your spirit. Train your spirit. Stay up the gift in you. Ogoti, it might not have happened in 2023, but I still believe you going to 2024. Whatever didn't take place in your life, whatever died in your life, whatever, whatever it is that has hurt you in your life, thank God that it didn't even kill you. You are still alive. But thank God for everything. After thanking God for everything, still believe Him for everything. Don't allow the devil to whisper in your ears. Praise the Lord. As we're always taught at school, that chest out, be brave and look forward. Because he who has promised you is faithful. Praise the Lord. Let's close our eyes. Father, we want to thank you. For we cannot do anything that can make you to be God. But you are God. 
deny yourself. As the year is coming to an end on this beautiful day, Father, I pray for encouragement to your children. I pray that, Lord, as they stir up the gift in them, whatever that, oh God, has died for them to believe in you, may you begin to bring it to life. Strengthen them, oh God, as they are embarking in this journey for the next year. That, Lord, we will believe in you whether we have it or we don't. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that, Lord, may you cover your children as they move forward in this journey. May they see your grace in the land of the living. May they begin to touch that which they believe you for in the land of the, of the living. I pray that Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus that as 2024 starts tomorrow may they begin to see change in their lives. And for those who God who will be who will, who will take time and, and, and grow in you, I pray that Heavenly Father, may you help them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray when they get to a moment where they get discouraged, may you begin to speak the word that they have started, that they have read. May you remind them of what God has said. What the word of God has said. May they be charged up and be encouraged moving forward. We thank you, Lord, and Lord, we bless you. We give glory and honor to you. For you are a faithful God. We thank you, Lord, we bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody give God the praise.